Uh, are you sure regarding a question on the comments made by several countries? Uh, uh, I would like to uh, say that, you know, we have made our position very clear on this particular matter. You would have seen that several press releases have been issued in the last two days, uh, putting out our position, which we are very clear that uh, since, uh, since September of 2023, uh, the Canadian government has not shared any shred of information with us. Yesterday, again, after the public inquiry, public uh, hearing, we had again issued a statement saying that Canada has leveled serious allegations, but has so far not given any, any evidence to back it up. Uh, regarding your question on the comments made, I would allude to the comments made by the State Department. Um, uh, we would say that uh, as far as the allegations are concerned, P PM Trudeau's own admission yesterday would indicate the value. As regards our stance on the allegations, we will naturally reject false imputations against our diplomats. Uh, issue regarding question, uh, you would have seen uh, we had called in the summon the acting High Commissioner of Canada, and thereafter conveyed that we had no faith that the Canadian government will look after the safety of our diplomats, and therefore we had taken a decision to withdraw our High Commissioner, and along with him five other diplomats. Uh, subsequent to that, we saw that there was a communication from the Canadian side uh, asking them to leave. But we had withdrawn our diplomats before their decision. On your question as to where we see this particular relationship going, well, to tell you very frankly, uh, India-Canada ties, economic ties are very strong and vibrant. We have a lot of Canadian pension funds who are invested here. We have a large Indian diaspora in Canada, which maintains, which is the which is the bridge through which we maintain very strong people-to-people -people links with Canada. We have a large, possibly the largest cohort of international students in Canada as well. Uh, uh, we hope, you know, the this particular crisis has been precipitated by Trudeau government's baseless allegations. We hope, uh, so that is how we look at the issue that you raised, how we see the relationship going forward. Uh, and let me tell you also, you know, Canada is a major beneficiary of uh, all these linkages, strong linkages that we have. So, I have not seen the Supreme Court in the Supreme Court. कि उन्होंने क्या कहा लेकिन सुप्रीम कोर्ट का जो मामला होता है तो वो लीगल मामला होता है सुप्रीम कोर्ट उच्च न्यायालय के मामले में टिप्पणी करना ठीक नहीं होता है वो जो जो उनका जो उनका मान है जो वो जिस प्रकार का मामला बाहर जैसे उस मामले में सुप्रीम कोर्ट का जो राय है उसको माना जाएगा रजा ऑन योर क्वेश्चन whether any conversation regarding cricket happened or not, I would say nothing of that sort happened. Uh, shall we go forward? And the reports that you saw were not accurate also. Aditya? Uh, Mr. Jaspal has two questions related. One is on uh, TVI Network yesterday broke a story about Lawrence Pishnoi and his gang members in Canada, uh, the details of which we believe have been shared with the Canadian side over the last three years. Uh, could you please share details of how many extradition requests have gone out from India to Canada in the last three years and whether there's been any positive response because Justin Trudeau yesterday mentioned about Lawrence Bishnoi and said that we are taking action. Secondly, we've also seen uh, attacks on journalists taking place in Canada. We've seen Rishi Nagar, a journalist being attacked in Calgary in a Gurudwara by Khalistani radicals. We in the past have seen attacks on Samir Kaushal and Deepak Punj as well. How do you react to these attacks on uh, Canadian journalists of Indian origin and what does this say about the freedom of expression in Canada? Thank you. Okay. Ajay? Hi, Ajay, manager from the Tribune. Uh, sir, there are the U.S. State Department uh, last night issued a statement that uh, 
one of the Indian government officials has been removed from service of the Indian government. Could you please clarify who the official is? Can you name? Is it the same person named at CC1 in the Department of Justice in the indictment? Oh, okay. Please. Hi there, Salima Shivji from CBC News. Uh, so you say uh, on the Indian side that there is no clear evidence that has been presented by Canadian authorities, but Canada's RCMP and other authorities have said that they have presented detailed evidence in meetings with top Indian officials. So how do you explain that disconnect and the wildly different stories from each side? And as well, uh, with this entire uh, dispute sort of being disputed in, in public with some bitter statements on each side, do you think that is the correct way to dial down the tensions in this relationship? Okay. Pranay? So Pranay Upadhyay, Amar Ujala Se. My two questions are, the first question is that Canada has so many extradition requests in Canada, and especially Hajib Singh Nijjar has so many extradition requests in Canada, and what is the response to that? The second question is that, six months ago, Canada's government said to RCMP that four people have been arrested, whose identity was Indian. Is there any reason for Indians that Canada has not been arrested for any consulate? Is there any reason for Indians that Canada has not been arrested for any consulate? Is there any reason for Indians that Canada has not been arrested for any consulate? Is there any reason for Indians that Canada has not been arrested for any consulate? Is there any reason for Indians that Canada has not been arrested for any consulate? Okay, Sabira. Samir Hussain, BBC News. Um, you, will you release the names of the diplomats that um, India says that they have brought back um, to India, the Canadian diplomats? Um, India has released the names of the Canadian diplomats that were um, expelled from the country. So wondering if the same will happen. And also, um, to follow up on Salima's question uh, about, the detail, about the several meetings that the RCMP has said that they have had, and that India has been presented with this evidence. I mean, the most recent meeting was a meeting in Singapore that is widely reported. Um, and that meeting went on for several hours, much longer than was originally anticipated. I'm wondering what was actually discussed in that meeting if you were not presented with any evidence. Okay. So first, Aditya, to your question uh, on extradition request and uh, Lawrence Bishnoi gang. So as far as uh, my information is concerned, there are 26 extradition requests pending with the Canadian side. Um, these are over the last decade or more. Uh, along with it, there are several provisional arrest requests which are also pending uh, with the Canadian side of several criminals. Uh, some of the notable ones who have been charged with terror and related crimes, I would like to name them. They are uh, Gurjeet Singh, Gurjinder Singh, Gurpreet Singh, Lakhbir Singh Landa, and Arshdeep Singh Gill. They are wanted in terror charges, as I told you, and also some related charges. We have shared security-related information with the Canadian government regarding gang members, including uh, those of uh, uh, Lawrence Bishnoi gang, uh, and requested them to arrest them uh, and or to take due action as per law. So far, while we have exchanged and given these information, so far no action has been taken by the Canadian side on our request. This is uh, very serious. Uh, also, I would like to say that you know we find it really strange that now it, the the people who we asked to be deported, on whom we asked that action be taken, we are being told that they are the ones, or we we are RCMP is blaming um, Indian side that these people are committing crimes in Canada for which you are to be blamed. So this is a contradiction in terms which we don't understand. Uh, I will, I just have, here there are several people, but uh, for the sake of brevity, uh, I have, I would like to outline what I just uh, informed you. Uh, the notable ones are Gurjeet Singh, Gurjinder Singh, Gurpreet Singh, Lakhbir Singh Landa, and Arshdeep Singh Gill. Uh, Aditya, you also had a question regarding intimidation, uh, the Canadian origin, uh, sorry, Indian origin journalists who are being intimidated in Canada, and several of these instances have come to light in the recent past. I would 
only like to say that these are clear examples of intimidation and violence by those who openly spouse extremist and separatist ideology. It is also an example, or these are also examples of what afflicts Canada today and which reveals the sources of violence. Shifting the blame to India uh, does not work in any manner. Ajay, you had a question regarding uh, the U.S. State Department informing us that uh, the individual who was named in the Justice Department indictment is no longer an employee of the government of India. I, yes, I confirm that he's no longer an employee of the government of India. Question on CBC. See, we have made our position very clear that serious charges have been leveled against us. But so far, as we said in our press release a few days back, and it was reiterated yet again yesterday or today morning, early hours uh, this morning, uh, so far Canada has not given any evidence uh, in support of the serious, very serious allegations that they have leveled against India and against Indian diplomats. We also see there is a pattern. The pattern is motivated by political considerations, uh, on the part of uh, the Canadian Trudeau uh, government. Uh, and uh, there is also, as we have said, uh, is a clear pattern to smear India uh, uh, for reasons best known uh, to them. Uh, you would have, I would also like to tell you that please look at several of these statements that it's a very detailed statements that we've released giving exactly what our position is, why we think that uh, these are politically motivated, and why we think that these allegations are baseless. extradition cases pending provisional arrest information Mutual Legal Assistance Treaty के तहत मांगते हैं, उसे भी कई एक सारे मामले वहाँ पर कनाडा में पेंडिंग हैं, और जैसा कि मैंने बताया कि पांच लोग, अपराधी लोग, जो जिनके खिलाफ हम लोगों ने मांगा है, भगोड़े हैं, मांगा है कि इनके इनका एक्सट्रेडिशन होना चाहिए, पत्तरपन होना चाहिए, उनका नाम मैंने लिया आपके लिए, Lawrence Bisnoi gang ho, or thwa koi or gang hai, uske bhi members isme shamil hai. Jahan tak jo giraftari ki baat ki, aapne consular access ki baat ki, consular access, jaise maine pehle bataya tha, ki ham logo ko abhi consular access humne manga nahi hai, unki taraf se request aata hai, to fir diya jata hai, consular access liya jata hai. Manga tha aur us case mein kya hua tha? Kitni baar humne request kiya tha Hardeep Singh Nijjar ke pratyarpan ko lekar? Uh, Hardeep Singh Nijjar Pratyarpan Wale Suchi Me Nahi Hai Kisi Or Mamele Me Us Par Nunbe Charges Lagge Honge Pratyarpan Ke Suchi Me Hardeep Singh um, Samira Your Question Regarding uh, The Diplomats uh, Indian Diplomats Who Will Be Coming Back From uh, Canada We Have Our High Commissioner Along With Him There Are Five Other Diplomats Who Will Be Returning uh, the Canadian government has said that they should return by 19th of October, 11.59 p.m. Uh, uh, for various reasons, we don't want to uh, reveal their names to you. Uh, also regarding the Singapore meeting, yes, the Singapore meeting, yes, had happened. And uh, some exchanges had taken place. I don't have uh, anything further to share about that particular meeting. Oh, oh. Sir, uh, Sir Sudhir from Bloomberg, sir, adding on to Ajay's question, if you could give us an understanding as to who the Indian official, uh, you know, India has sacked, uh, and is it, can you confirm or deny? Is it, you know, following the investigation on the thwarted, uh, you know, assassination attempt on Panun? Also, could you give us an understanding? as to who has gone to the United States, uh, you know, in this regard. You know, what is the level of officers? What is the kind of information that is being exchanged with the United States? Mm -hmm. Siddhant, 
So, Siddhan from Vion. Uh, so, uh, during the EM's visit to Islamabad, we saw a lot of uh, uh, ex foreign minister, the foreign ministers and politicians, the ex foreign minister Bilawal Bhutto, commenting on talks with India. They are saying that India should talk. What is the current uh, view of the Indian government? Any plans to have conversation? Do you see the EM's visit opening a window of opportunity for talks between Pakistan and India? Sir, KM Sharma, Bharat Express. You is a statement that India should take uh, the, state, the allegation of Canada very seriously. Is that sir? What does Madhu. Sir, Madhu Vendra, my news station. Sir, my also question is Pakistan. Sir, related to that, that EM's visit at the time, was there any discussion on the side line of Pakistan? Was there any discussion on the side line of Pakistan? Was there any discussion on the side line of Pakistan? Was there any discussion on the side line of Pakistan? Was there any discussion on the side line of Pakistan? Was there any discussion on the side line of Pakistan? Was there any discussion on the side line of Pakistan? एक सवाल और मेरा जुड़ा हुआ है लॉरेंस बिश्नोई को लेकर आपने कहा कि उनके भी दरअसल जो गैंग के गुर्गे हैं लोग हैं उनको लेकर भी एक्सट्राडिशन की मांग हमने की है तो ये कौन है दरअसल और किस तरह के क्रिमिनल चार्जेस उसकी रोह पर है जिसको लेकर हमने मांग की सर ब्रह्म प्रकाश हूँ न्यूज इंडिया से मेरा सवाल है कि कनाडा के प्रधानमंत्री ने जिस तरह से मीडिया में कहा है कि जी ट्वेंटी के दौरान भारतीय प्रधानमंत्री के समक्ष उन्होंने निजर हत्या मामले की बात की थी और भारतीय प्रधानमंत्री ने उनसे कहा था कि कनाडा में कुछ लोग हैं जिनको वो गिरफ्तार होते हुए देखना चाहते हैं तो कितने लोग हैं भारत की लिस्ट में क्या जो अभी आपने नाम बताए वही लोग हैं जो भारतीय प्रधानमंत्री ने कहा जिनको अरेस्ट होते हुए देखना चाहते हैं कितने हैं उनकी संख्या थैंक यू Okay, uh, first let uh, Sudhi, I'll come to your uh, question uh, on, you know, I just confirmed uh, that yes, this particular gentleman, he is not part of the a government of India setup, he's not an employee. Uh, beyond that, I don't have anything to share with you. Uh, regarding uh, people who've uh, gone to the United States, um, I would say that you know, these are members of the high-level inquiry committee that had been set up in, uh, in, in November of 2023 uh, to look into the inputs that were shared with us by the U.S. And we have been telling you that we, we have taken these inputs very seriously and we remained engaged with the U.S. side on this particular matter. Two members of the, uh, the high-level committee, they've traveled there uh, and they've held, held meetings with the U.S. side. Uh, so that is what I have to share with you. Siddhant, on Pakistan, we had, when our external affairs minister was to travel to Pakistanabad for a CEO meeting, we had made it very clear, we had issued a statement that this, a press release rather, that this particular visit is for SCO head of government meeting. Um, beyond that, in Islamabad, you would have seen the only bilateral meeting that our external affairs minister had was with Mongolia. Other than that, there were some pleasantries which were exchanged uh, on the sidelines of the meeting, especially during lunch and dinner. That is all that we have to say about his uh, visit as in relation to what the question that you asked. Krish Mohanji, uh, on State Department's comments, I, I did mention when I was answering Ayushi's uh, uh, question that uh, as regards the allegations, we have, uh, you would have seen PM Trudeau's own admission yesterday would indicate the value. As regards our stance on the allegations, we will naturally reject false imputations against our diplomats. So that is our response to your question on the comments of the State Department. Madhu, you have heard that in Pakistan, what was the talk about in the SEO sideline? In the SEO sideline, there was a bilateral meeting in Mongolia. There was no other meeting. There was no pull-aside meeting. There was no pull-aside meeting. There was no informal बातचीत कटसीज जो होता है वो हुआ वो खाने के दौरान भोजन के दौरान उसके अलावे वहाँ पर 
पाकिस्तानी साइड से किसी और तरीके का कोई बातचीत नहीं हुई लॉरेंस बिश्नोई के बारे में लॉरेंस बिश्नोई के गैंग और अन्य गैंग के बारे में सिंडिकेट्स के बारे में हमने कनाडा से कई एक साल पहले और हाल में भी उनको बताया है उनसे प्रोविजनल अरेस्ट का रिक्वेस्ट किया है अब तक उन्होंने इस पर कोई एक्शन नहीं लिया है ना कोई अरेस्ट किया है और हम लोग तो बार बार ये बात कहते रहे हैं कि इतने सारे लोग जो जिसके बारे में आपको बताया जा रहा है जो एंटी इंडिया एक्टिविटीज़ वहाँ करते हैं जो अलगाववादी ताकतों को जो बढ़ावा देते हैं उसके खिलाफ सख्त से सख्त कार्रवाई करनी चाहिए लेकिन उन्होंने अभी तक इस मामले पर फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच के मामले में के को आगे ला वो कहते हैं कि ये फ्रीडम स्पीच का मामला है हम इसमें कुछ नहीं कर सकते ये बेबुनियाद है हमारे तरफ से ये बेबुनियाद है उन्होंने कोई एक्शन नहीं लिया जो हमारे कोर कंसर्नस है उस पर अभी तक और उसके पीछे एक राजनीतिक मंशा भी है जो आप जानते हैं ब्रह्म प्रकाश आपका सवाल आपका सवाल जी ट्वेंटी के दौरान से अब तक मैंने कहा जो हम लोग अपने प्रेस व्यक्ति में भी कहा है कि कनाडा जो है हमारे पर एलिगेशन लगाता आ रहा है लेकिन आज तक किसी प्रकार का एक खर भी जो कहते हैं वो उस प्रकार का कोई सबूत आज तक उन्होंने नहीं दिया है आपके सवाल में कुछ और भी था प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ने उनसे कहा था कि कनाडा में कुछ लोग हैं जिनको वो अरेस्ट होते देखना चाहते हैं तो उसको लेकर कितनी संख्या है जो भारत के पास देखिए आपने देखा होगा कि पिछले कुछ महीनों में और पिछले साल और उससे पहले भी किस प्रकार की गतिविधियां वहां पर कई एक शहरों में चलती है हमारे लीडरशिप को लेके वहाँ पर एंटी इंडिया एक्टिविटीज चलती है और जब भी ऐसा कुछ होता है तो हम लोग वहाँ के सरकार से ये रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं कि आप सख्त से सख्त कार्रवाई कीजिए क्योंकि ये अलगाववादी ताकत ये वायलेंस जो हमारे खिलाफ है इसको इसको बढ़ावा नहीं दिया सकता है ये ये हमारे रिश्तों के खिलाफ है ये हमारा कंसर्न है सिक्योरिटी कंसर्न है ये हमारा सुरक्षा कंसर्न है उस पर लेकिन आज तक कोई उस पर कोई एक्शन नहीं लिया गया है